I've gone on to the breathing. I'm just going to ask the patient for consent for me to do the following observations. That's okay. So now I've got consent. I'm just going to tell the patient that I'm checking the pulse, but really I'm just checking the breathing. The reason I'm doing this is I don't want them to alter their breathing and um, feeling a bit nervous, me watching them. Um, so I'm just going to check your pulse, okay? Yeah, that's I'm going right. to put three fingers onto the radial pulse. I'm going to count for 15 seconds and then multiply by four um, to get the breathing right. So the respiratory rate should be between 12 and 20. Um, Lara's is 15, so that's fine with me. Yeah. Um, so everything with the breathing is fine. I'm now going to go into circulation. I'm going to actually check the pulse this time. Same, I'm going to count up to 15 seconds and multiply that by four. And um, the beats per minute, which would be between 60 and 100. So three fingers on the radial pulse. Okay, so that's 60, so everything's fine with that. Um, the thing that I did forget to mention at the beginning of my primary survey is that when I do come with my first approach with the patient, so you're looking at the patient triangle, which is the colour, the respiratory and the um, position. If anyone's hunched over, it could show any um, chest pain or any other issues that the patient may have.